Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Flute Life with Katie Flute. In today's video, I'm going to be trying and reviewing the Azumi by Altus model AZ3 flute. This is an intermediate model flute and I'm really excited to play it for you all. So before we jump right on in though, I do want to give a big thank you to the Flute Center of New York who is sponsoring today's video. For those of you who don't know, the Flute Center is a huge flute store located in New York City, but they also ship worldwide. If you are looking for a new flute, the Flute Center is really the place to go. You can use my code KTFL when shopping there to set up your own free 10-day trial. You'll be able to select up to three flutes. The Flute Center will ship them to you for free. You can try them for 10 days. If you like anything and you want to buy something, my code will also give you an extended 18-month warranty. And my code will also give you 10% off all all flute sheet music. Like always, I'll put all that info in the description box below in case you guys are interested. So now let's get started. Okay, so this is the flute that I'm about to play for you. Um, before we just jump right on in and open the case, let's read a little bit about it first, just so we know what we're dealing with. So this is the Izumi by Altus model AZ3. It has a sterling silver Z cut head joint, sterling silver body with silver plated mechanism, drawn tone holes, French or open hold keys, pointed key arms, stainless steel springs, Altus Bennett scale, B foot joint, and an offset G key. So according to Azumi, the most distinctive feature of all Azumi flutes is the Altus Z cut professional head joint, which responds quickly and easily and produces a full and rich tone in all three registers. They also mentioned that all Azumi flutes feature pointed key arms, usually reserved for professional models, and that they give the flute an elegant and refined look, as well as it gives the flute improved key strength and even pad wear. So, so far, even just after reading the specs on this flute, um, it seems pretty neat. Like you're getting some things that you might see on a professional flute, even though this is an intermediate model flute at a more conservative price range. Okay, so let's open it up. So it comes with a French case and then on the outside we have this case cover and it has this nice plush lining. Inside we have a cleaning rod and some cleaning cloths. If you're taking a flute out on trial, you're not supposed to open any of these. I know it's tempting, but don't open them. If you end up buying the flute, then yes, it's all fair game. So here is the flute. The inside of the case is this nice green velvet and it's so shiny, oh my gosh. I'm about to get my fingerprints all over this. But just from first impression, it looks gorgeous and it looks like a professional model flute. I do remember actually that I tried this flute um, back, I don't know how many years ago now, but back on one of my earlier videos where I made a duet actually on Azumi flutes. Um, and I remember liking them a lot back then, so I'm curious to, to try it again. I don't really remember much because I, I didn't play it for a super long time, so I'm excited to revisit it. Yeah, they're not kidding. When they said responsive, like, bam, right there. I'm pretty impressed. You know, it's pretty light, but it responds like a much heavier professional model flute would. feel too. The B key, the thumb key, um, there's something slightly different about how it's shaped, at least compared to my Miramatsu, but I, I really like how it feels and overall the mechanism feels really light and responsive. And it's a pretty light flute, so once again I'm kind of surprised by how much air I feel like I could really put into this flute and that it would still sound good and it wouldn't crack or anything. The sound wouldn't crack, not the actual flute. It's really responsive, like that low D, it just pops right out. So I'm excited about this head joint. I mean, I know I only played this for like a few minutes so far, but if I had to get a backup flute, like if I had to take my other flute into the shop to get worked on and I needed another instrument, I would get this flute. <laughs> it's super responsive. Okay, let's see what else I can play.
a C sharp trill key on an intermediate level flute. That's that's nice. I wish mine would have had one back then. super light and responsive, which is nice because sometimes you don't always see that on an intermediate level flute. Um, so that's nice. It's like, it's very responsive. Also, it has a split E mechanism, which is nice. My flute doesn't have one um, and I've never really missed it, but maybe if I had one on my flute, if I didn't have it later, then I would be like missing it. But easy to play softly in the upper register which is really nice and I think that you know the range of dynamic capabilities you're not going to be held back on this like I'm able to get a really full loud sound and you know also something a bit more floaty and delicate which is really nice I really like the cut of the head joint and the responsiveness I know I've said responsive like 20 times now but it's it's responsive. And what I mean by that is as soon as my tongue and my air are moving, the flute responds immediately. There's no delay or anything, which is something that you can get on certain head joint cuts. I mean, it's really all super personal because not everyone is going to like the same cut of head joint, but this seems to be working pretty well for me. surprised because I think that this flute plays you know a lot better than some of the other flutes that I've tried in the same price range so for for the price range I don't really see how you could beat this and I think a lot of it probably has to do with the fact that this is you know they say it's the altus like professional head joint on here on this intermediate flute so I think it's great and I did not go into this expecting to really love this instrument I thought it would be good because I've tried some Azumis in the past and I've tried Altus in the past and I've liked them, but I really, really like this flute. So if you are looking for an intermediate level flute, I would definitely, definitely, definitely check this one out. Of course, it's gonna be a personal thing. Everyone responds differently to different flutes. I think for the young, serious player, this would be a huge step up you know, they call it a step up flute for a reason. It would be a huge step up from your first student beginner flute. And then to go to something like this, which has these professional flute elements, I think it's really incredible. For the price range to have all this extra stuff on here, the C sharp trill key, the split E, the pointed key arms, you know, you really can't beat this price range.
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are looking for a new flute, be sure to check out the Flute Center. They have a huge selection of flutes, including the one that you just heard here. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought about this flute, or if you've tried this flute, or maybe you play on this flute now. And please also let me know which flutes you'd like me to try in future videos. So once again, a big thanks to the Flute Center of New York for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos from me. I have another flute review video coming up soon. And if you haven't already, please be sure to go follow me over on Instagram at Katie Flute. You'll see some more music clips over there as well as some glimpses of behind the scenes, my day-to-day -day life, and all that fun stuff. So thanks again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.